Seven months ago, on a snowy February day, the Swerve Alliance would face off against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a football game of high proportions, but it would be there at the end of the game that YouTube Noah would throw an interception that would ultimately lead the game to end in a tie as it went through overtime. Now, YouTube Noah, Spawn Trap, and the rest of the crew is back, facing off against the LA Rams. They'd start the game back behind the 20. A faked handoff would lead Spawn Trap to throw what end up being an interception after he threw the ball in the direction of Fly. You can see Mark Barron just come in and pick that thing off as Fly goes elbow to the face in this primetime matchup. After a Rams field goal, Swerve would once again go three and out, leaving Strive to look in disgust as the Rams defenders got up in his face. But you get it started with the running game on the next possession. It's kicks the little man. If you don't have a passing game, you got to establish a running game with that guy. And he's able to do it right there. Three minutes to go before halftime, trailing by six with a five wide out set. The pass would fall incomplete on a third and 17 just outside of field goal range. The Rams chewed the clock, but Swerve would get it back as Spawn Trap connected with YouTube Noah along the left sideline. Just one play later, here would be Spawn Trap scrambling out to the left. He had running room, but he'd hit Strive on that left sideline. Look as he keeps his toes in bounds, dragging him to make that catch. Then 25 yards out, he's looking for Fly up top, the tall man. Able to make the big catch. He's that slot receiver that puts up six points for the Vikings, who would make the extra point and take a one-point lead over the LA Rams. Going into the second half, you don't see jukes like that every day. A dirty spin move from kicks, and then here on the crossing pattern, strive with a nice cutback to avoid the collision and get some extra yards after contact. But then things would turn dark. Spawn Trap drops the ball after the drop back. It's picked up by the Rams, and they're able to run it all the way back for a fumble recovery. Six point score. The two point conversion would follow, ultimately, in the Rams to go up 14 to 7 over Swerve. Spawn Trap with three minutes left, trying to lead his team back, takes the hit, and then delivers two kicks, who runs it all the way out of bounds. Quick firing, he hits Strive down the middle, but this. May cost Strive the game as he suffers a back injury on the play. Spawn Trap and Zimmer trying to work out how exactly they're going to get these final points. Here they go, trying to get in the end zone on fourth and goal with less than two minutes left. They turn the ball over. LA would have a chance to run the clock out, but it wouldn't end there. A hard hit by the defensive line would ultimately lead to a fumble, but Gurley would recover. But the Vikings would not let it end there. Less than 50 seconds to go from his own 42. Spawn Trap connects with Strive on the left side. He came back in after his injury. Now sitting in the pocket. Time to throw. Delivers to fly on the right side. He gets out of bounds. Stops the clock. Then firing over the middle. It's Strive again. But the clock will run. As it goes down, he hits Noah on the right side, unable to get out of bounds, and they have to use their last timeout with eight seconds left. The whole game on this play, and the pass is intercepted. They don't need the extra points, but LA will run it all the way back with no time left on the clock. Swerve suffering a devastating defeat. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of Swerve Alliance football, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.